Hi everyone, this is Tanya here with the Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for taking our time to join me today for another video. I welcome you here, especially if this is your first time. Thank you so much for coming over to check me out. I hope you choose to stick around by becoming a part of my YouTube family by subscribing. In addition to that, anyone who is returning, thank you so much for coming back. Today I am here to share a life's craft video with you guys. I am here to share a project share. This would be project number share four and number five. And what I'm gonna do is showcase the dies as well as showcase my project and a few other items that I did use to create with. Now all the links will be listed down below in the description box along with a coupon code for you guys to save 20% off of your purchase. So I hope you guys take advantage of that. Alright so let's go ahead and dig on in. So I am so thankful that Life's Craft has asked me to review some of their products from their website. I chose these products and I'm really happy and pleased with the items that I chose. And I was able to create some beautiful things with these different dyes that I chose from their website. I hope you guys are inspired to create as well and also able to shop with them. All right, so let me showcase the dyes. These right here that I'm gonna be featuring for my project number four is called High Rise Buildings. I, these came as a set of four and I absolutely love these dies guys they are absolutely beautiful I'm going to pick each one of them up and showcase so I can show you a little bit easier so this is what the dies look like this is one of them right here and I just think that's absolutely beautiful and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just share with you the different um, things that I created as I show you each die so you can see it a little bit more clear so I decided to create memory decks cards using all of these beautiful high-rise buildings. And what I did was I kept it really simple so that way the high-rise building would pretty much be the focal point of my creation. So this is what I made here. Look how gorgeous. So I took my memory decks die and I cut these out and it's been layered many times. And I chose to cut these buildings out in white. And my background was done with all the Distress Oxide inks that you see back here. And I used every single one of those on my Memory Desk cards that I'm going to be featuring in this video today. And so, so it's so simple but unique. And I just feel like this just added the right amount of touch. And as you can see, in one of the buildings, I took some of the windows out. So that way, it would have a different look. And so this is my first creation right here love that and the next one I'm going to be featuring is going to be this die right here that has the Eiffel Tower I think this is absolutely beautiful I love this die as well and everything cuts out so easy that's one of the things that I love about these dies and they all came together as one piece and you just have to take them apart and separate them but you will see that in my unboxing video so if you happen to miss that you feel free to go back and check out that video by going to my um, videos that's called company reviews you will be able to see that I have created a playlist that way you'll be able to click on any videos that you may have missed, especially my other future projects that I have made already that has already been featured for Life's Craft. And with this die right here, this is what I created. Here is my second memory desk card. Look how beautiful. Now with this one, same thing. I use the Distress Art size for the background and the inks have blended really, really nice as you can see. And I chose to cut the buildings out using a beautiful metallic silver and I just think that gave it the right touch to complete this project here I really love the way this turned out so that's this one and up next I have this one right here that has the ferris wheel and I love this building as well and it's absolutely gorgeous. These dies are so much fun to work with and the possibilities are definitely endless with what you choose to create with them. And this is my creation that I made. This is my other memory desk card and you can see how the background, I went more of a, a lot of different colors in this one here. Love this. I love the way those colors blended as well as I cut the buildings out in gold this time. 
and you can see the different looks that I'm getting here really really nice last but not least I have this beautiful building right here and this has a lot of buildings on this one and this is the memory desk card that I created and this happens to be one of my favorite ones I saved the best for last and this is what this one looks like you can see that I have created another beautiful background more of a sun setting um, night here that's happening as well as I cut the buildings out in black this time and went with more of a blue on the bottom to create like an ocean feel but I love those colors and the way those buildings just pop on up and I did raise all of my buildings by cutting them out multiple times um, so that way they would be layered up you can tell that from me laying on the side here you can see how they've been lifted up and I feel like that gave it an extra um, nice dimension for my memory desk cards that took some time but I was really happy to bring this look and hope you guys are inspired by all of my memory desk creations now if you enjoy these high-rise building dies feel free to click on that link down below and I will show you again all the memory desk cards together so that's those two there and then we have this one And then we also have this one. So those are all my creations that I made using those beautiful high rise buildings. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. And I will be up with my last project share, which will be project share number five. So stay tuned. Welcome back. Today I am sharing my last final project with Life's Craft. This is project number five, and I am going to be featuring in this video the bow knot ball pendant. This is my last creation for you guys. This is the dies that I was able to choose from their website, and this is what the dies look like. Really nice size. So I love that about these dies here and i also have used a few things that was already in my stash but in addition to that feel free to make sure you check out the description box where i have listed all of the different products that i was able to choose from life's craft down below so that way you guys can click on those links if you're interested in any of the products that i have shared and projects that i have created that you would like to try on your own I also have um, listed a coupon code for 20 percent for you to save and shop with life's craft Feel free to type in the code Z-1863. Now on for my creations. So what I decided to create using the bow knot ball pendant from Life's Craft is I chose to use these in such a way where they will become little mini art pieces. So with doing that, I decided to pull out my ATC dies that I had already in my stash, which is also ATC is known as an artist trading card. So what I made with these dies was an ATC card. So I first made a pocket here using this beautiful Christmas paper. And I mimic off that paper by using the same background so it will complement one another. This is how I chose to use this beautiful die by Life's Craft. And so what I've done here is I have created a ATC card by making this a shaker element on the front. So I wanted something unique and different and I cut this out in foam and I raised this up and I also put acetate between the layers and I added my sequins and this came out really really nice guys. I really love that really simple and easy to do and this was so much fun to make. Now I have an artist trading card on hand to be able to give out so I love that. And then here is the pocket for it, as I mentioned that you can place inside of here and go ahead and mail or pass on to a friend. The next that I used was this one right here, which is really beautiful. This one here has a little difference to it, being the fact that it has these um, beautiful droplets compared to the other die here. And you can see how this pendant is so different, but similar. They both have the little bow, and this one has a little extra bow here, which I didn't have to use this piece, but you could have if you chose to. And so with that one, I have cut out this beautiful paper here. And this is my finished project right here. 
and I love the way it turned out. Another ATC shaker card. I love the way this looks. And instead of using gold, I use silver outline for this one here. And you can see how this style looks. So it cut out really, really nice. I was really happy with that. So these are both my creations that I have made for my final project. And I hope you guys were inspired by this and I want to see what you guys create. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I would love to also see your comments. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell to so be notified when I release new videos. In addition to that, I do have an Instagram page, which is Memory Lane Keepsakes 2017. Feel free to follow me as well over there. And I want to thank you for your time. And I hope you guys enjoy everything that you saw and everything that I created. And I want to give a huge thank you to Life's Craft for giving me the opportunity to be able to create for you. And also choose some awesome different products from your website to review. Thank you guys. Have a fabulous day. Continue to be blessed as always. Bye-bye.